Alright, mute chat command. Uh, just one thing I want to say, I haven't planned this ahead, I'm just going off the top of my head. So the first thing I'll show is how to create a command, then I'll show how to create a listener. Um, so if you already know how to actually make commands and listeners, um, then I'll have timestamps on screen now for you to skip to, um, to get to the actual coding part rather than just creating the command and the listener. So we'll start off by creating the command. Um, uh, similar to where you type extends Java plugin in your main class, you're going to type implement command with a capital C executor with a capital E. Then import that. Hover over this and add un unimplemented methods. I don't know if that's different on other IDEs. I'm on Eclipse. Um, I can tell you. Uh, so now you're going to want to change some of the parameters. So sender cmd string. I'm not really sure what that does to be honest. And then args. Obviously, you can change them to whatever you want, but that's just probably um, the standard that most people change it to. Public and then your class name, so for me mute chat, and then brackets, your main class, like that. And then within that you're gonna do your main class dot get command mute chat dot set executor this. And I accidentally put some brackets in that. Now you're gonna go into your plugin.yml and you need this commands section and you're just gonna go mute chat then aliases mc just and then description mute the chat now you just need to go into your main class and go new mute chat this now we'll show how to create the event so after command executor you're going to put a comma and then type the listener with a capital L and import that now go below your command, it doesn't have to be below the command but that's where I'm going to put it. Type at event with a capital E, handler with a capital H, no spaces, and then public void on chat async player chat event E. And then import everything. Now go into your main class and in your unenable just type new the class and then in brackets this. Now the last thing you need to do just to set this up is in here type yt.getServer.get plugin manager.register events this then your main class. Now you have your command and your event ready to go. Now we'll get into this so I'm going to um, do the chat event first and the first thing we're going to need is just a public boolean muted and we'll make it equal false because we don't want the chat to be muted upon startup now all we're going to do is first of all if muted so obviously if the chat isn't muted we don't want to edit it at all so we're just going to do if muted now we want to get the player so player P equals e dot get player. Now we want to check if they have a bypass permission. So if p dot has permission, YouTube dot mute chat dot bypass. And then in the else we're going to just do p dot send message. Sorry, but the chat is currently muted. And then op this is optional, but I'm going uh, and then e dot set cancel true, so we can cancel the event so that the message doesn't get sent. Now, in um, in the if the if statement's true, we're going to just do um, p dot send message. The chat is currently muted, but you're bypassing this. Now this obviously is optional, but I'm going to do it just for the purposes of this so we can uh, make sure everything's fine. Now we're going to do the command. The first thing we're going to do is check if they are the console or they have permission to do it. So if sender 
instance of console command sender. Then we're going to do or, which is the two vertical lines, and then sender dot has permission YouTube dot chat dot use. Then import console command sender, and then we're just going to do else and p sender send message. Sorry, but you don't have permission to do that. Now we're going to go if muted, and we're going to put an else on that as well. So if it's muted, we want to unmute it. So muted equals false, and then bucket dot broadcast message. The chat was unmuted by plus sender dot get name. And then in here we're going to go multi muted equals true bucket dot broadcast message. The chat was muted by sender dot get name. So let's give this a quick test now. Um, and you can see just by talking, um, the chat isn't muted because I've only just started the server up. Now if we type slash MC, the chat was muted by asking. Now because I'm op currently, I will bypass this, right? So the chat is muted, but you're bypassing this. Now if I just do MC again to unmute it, you can see when I talk, I don't get this uh, chat is muted message. And then if I mute it and de -op myself, you can see that I can't talk because, sorry, but the chat is currently muted. Right, so that's how to create a mute chat command. Um, I hope this was helpful. Please leave a like if it was, and I'll catch you later.